Hello everyone, uh, Sarah's dad here. So let's continue our jungle adventure uh, or jungle trouble adventure. Last time we looked at uh, motion statements and also repeat loops. So this time we're going to continue and make more advanced or use more advanced repeat loops. So last time I used Marco as my character, so today I'm going to use Sophia. And Remember we're playing the Jungle Trouble game, so let's click on that. And last time we finished les uh, lesson or level 14, so let's get to level 15. And really it's just the same thing over and over here. So we have noticed the same pattern of orange tiles, blue, orange, and blue again. Right? It's the same pattern, we just need to figure out. So we're gonna repeat that pattern four times. One, two, three, four. We just need to figure out what the pattern is. So let me drag the repeat statement here and I said we're gonna repeat it four times. So, and now let's figure out what are we repeating. So first, uh, Sophia needs to step forward. So let's do that. Step forward, then turn right. And then step forward again. That brings us here, right? Step forward, turn right, step forward, we are here. And we need to do one more le turn. So this time turn left. Okay, so let's turn left and make one more step. So that brings us to the last yellow tile. And we are kind of in the same position as Sophia is here, right? just before the yellow tiles, here we are just before the blue tiles. And so we can try to repeat, hopefully, I said one, two, three, four times, if we do this four times, hopefully we're gonna get all the way to the last yellow tile. So let's try that. Perfect. So that hopefully was not that hard, so let's continue. Uh, so, let's see, what do we have here? So, well, okay, so the game is suggesting to use two repeat loops. So, let's take a look at it a little bit before we actually do anything. So, let's see. So, we have three sets of tiles, right? Red tiles, green tiles, and kind of brownish or purplish tiles here, right? And they are all straight. So let's see. So really we have one set, another set, another set. Uh, so how many tiles in each set? So the red ones are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, the green ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the purple ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the same number of tiles in each group. So that's good. So okay, so we know that we need to okay, so if we just want to get all the way to the last red tile, we need to step forward. Hello. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Okay, looks like the game got stuck. Okay, that's bad. Okay. So we need to step forward nine times. Right? So let's step forward nine times and that should get us all the way here but so for, but for the next set of tiles we need to be ready kind of to start going right so here Sophia is ready to start going so when we get to the last tile what we need to do we need to turn right right and that'll let's try it let's just run this so Sophia goes nine times nine steps and then turns and it's pointing the right direction that's exactly what we need. So now she's facing the green tiles, but it's the same nine tiles that she needs to step on to. So if she steps on them and turns right, then she's gonna be ready for the next set. So we really have three, you know, we have to repeat this whole thing three times. So let's drag this inside this repeat statement. And I said, we need to repeat this whole thing three times. Okay, so now if you look at this, we have nested loops, right? There's this outer loop, 
which we repeat something three times we don't care quite what it is but at this point but okay we know that there is three set of three sets of tiles so we have to do something three times one set another set another set and once we are inside each set we need to step forward nine times and then after we done the stepping turn right that's all we okay, step forward nine times turn right step forward nine times and turn right we can or we don't have to that's kind of optional but it doesn't hurt if we do and that actually prepares us for the next next level anyway okay so let's do that and let's see if that worked so step nine times turn and now repeat again step nine times turn and step nine times turn and get to the last tile okay perfect so let's move on let's get to the next level so here it's kind of very similar we just have little less tiles and we turning left instead of right right so we have three sets of tiles again blue pink green and how many steps do we need to make for each one one two three four five six seven and here one two three four five six seven and here one two two three four five six seven okay so the number of tiles in each set is the same that's really important and the turn is the same for each set that's also important so let's see so we have three sets of tiles so we're going to repeat something three times and what are we repeating so we need to make how many steps one two three four five six seven so we need to make seven steps first so let's make seven steps first and then once you have that after you make seven steps you are here facing the wrong direction right so in order to face the pink tiles now you have to make a left turn so after we make the steps let's turn left okay and we repeat the whole thing three times and that should brings us that should bring us all the way to the yellow tile seven steps turn seven steps turn seven steps and we are at the end perfect okay so let's get to the next level so what is waiting us for us here okay so here so again we have three sets of tiles right kind of the well <laughs> they are both orange and purple but okay so the first set let's say has most the color on the outside is orange so I'll call them orange so this is the first set orange then we have the kind of more purple tiles and then again orange tiles and so we need to repeat something three times right so let's drag a loop here repeat three times so now the question is what do we need to repeat so first of all so we need to make how many steps forward one two three four five steps forward so uh, actually I'll, I'll construct it outside and then drag it inside just to make it more clear okay so first I need to make five steps forward so let's do that okay so I'll make the step forward and now I get to this corner but I'm still on the orange tiles so uh, let's make a right then I need to make a right turn right after I make all the steps so it goes here and then how many more steps I need to make two more steps so I could do it through a repeat loop but I think it's actually easier just to add two more steps step forward step forward so just going through this it should bring us all the way to this orange tile without any repetitions right so let's make sure perfect so we are at the orange tile and now let's see if doing the same thing again works so let's see we need to make one two three four five steps yes we have that then turn right and then make two more steps perfect and then over here again one two three four five steps turn right and make two more steps 
so it all works out. So let's drag this inside the outer loop. So we repeat three times this set of tiles, then this set of tiles, then this set of tiles, right? So we go five steps, turn, and then two more steps. Okay, so that should bring us all the way to the yellow tile. So let's see if that worked. Okay. And one more turn and we are on the yellow tile. Perfect. And with all the stars. You should, by the way, experiment. Sometimes, you know, like, if, say, if, if you replace two steps with a jump or do things like that, you get less than three yellow stars, but that's okay. You can just uh, try a few times. If you do it on purpose, have fun with it, and eventually I'm sure you can get all the stars, you know, that the game can give you. So normally it's three stars. I think every level can be done with three stars. Okay, so this is the last level in this lesson. So let's see, what do we have here? So uh, we need to get all the way to the yellow tile. And we have, seems like we have uh, how many sets of tiles? This kind of purple tiles, then green ones, then red ones, right? And it always, it seems like uh, each set starts with a jump, so let's just start with a jump, right? That brings us to this corner. Then we need to make a left turn, and then do how many steps? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna do six steps forward. Let's do that, and that'll bring us right in front of the next push. So let's make sure that that's the case six steps and we got all the way in front of the bush and again if you look at this if we jump over turn left then make six steps we get here so that's one one more time doing the same thing and then again jump over the bush turn left and do six more steps which brings us all the way to the yellow tile right so all we have to do add the outer loop and we're gonna run the outer loop three times because we have three sets of tiles and I just I'm just gonna drag this whole thing inside and that'll finish the code so notice that we have nested loops inside each other but they are not just one loop nested in, in inside the next loop we have other statements in front of it or with it Sometimes it's before the loop, sometimes it's after the loop, it doesn't matter. There can be even two loops nested, or it can be triple nested depending on the situation. So you can do all these things. Uh, you know, obviously this is just coding simple paths, so we're not gonna see triply or triple nested loops, but in real programming languages you can definitely see triply nested loops. Uh, and it's good to know how to program them. So you should be proud of yourself. You got all the way to level 19. Uh, as I said, this is pretty advanced. So let's just try this. Let's just try this code and see if it works. And hop, make six steps, hop, turn, another six steps, hop, turn, and another six steps. Perfect, so we finished the repeat loops and in our next lesson I'm going to talk about the while loops that are a little more interesting even, even more interesting than the repeat loops and I look forward to seeing you there.